Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I am going to simplify aspect ratio for you and show you how to find the aspect ratio of any two dimensions. So the most common video size that you're probably familiar with right now is 1920 by 1080 or 1080. That's what you typically see on YouTube and that has an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. So you might hear 16 by 9 a lot. That is referring to the aspect ratio. Now the aspect ratio is nothing more than the relationship or the ratio of width to height of any image or any video, okay? So it doesn't really matter what the pixel size is, 1920 by 1080, it matters about the relationship of width to height. So the first number in the aspect ratio is always going to be the width, and the second number is always going to be the height. So if you glance at an aspect ratio, such as 16 by 9, which is one of the most common you're going to be dealing with, the 16 is the width and the 9 is the height. Therefore, because the 16 is bigger than the height, or the width is bigger than the height, you know it's going to be a horizontal image, right? If you switch them and go 9 by 16, that means that the 9 is smaller than the height of 16. So that's going to be a vertical image, such as what you would post to Instagram stories. All right, so to find the aspect ratio for any pixel dimensions inside of Premiere Pro, all you need to do is create a new sequence by going to File, New, Sequence, or Command N is the shortcut. Go to Settings here in the middle and right here. This is the frame size. Whatever you put into these two fields, the horizontal is also the same as width, the vertical is also the same as height. Whatever you put into these two fields, Premiere Pro will automatically generate the correct aspect ratio right here. So we know that 1920 by 1080 is 16 by 9. If we flip these around and put in 1080 by 1920, which is the correct size for a video of Instagram stories, when I hit tab, boom, 9 by 16. No matter what you put in here, it's going to automatically generate. Just type in the number and you can always check to see that you have the correct aspect ratio.